Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. It's Draft Day Sports Pro Golf. It's week 45 of the Gaming Decathlon competition. And we're on to a new start today. They've done it. I finally conceded defeat. Hard and very hard, just not balanced well enough. Uh, normal, I think, should be balanced fairly, fairly well, even before the version 1.1 update. I had made a game work on normal. It was a test game, though, so it wasn't the one that I ended up doing for the channel, uh, which was kind of sad because then I did try one uh, just before the 1.1 update, and it failed miserably. So uh, we'll see if I can make this one work. So we're set on normal. We're going to be on the junior tour. I'm starting at 18 years of age, and I've already allocated my stars. You can see that I've got everything right to the limit of copper heading into silver. Consistency, just five points short of being maxed out. And the only one with nothing right now is a power. And I could pick up 30 points real quick and easy on power to get that up. We have full potential set up and we're going to go ahead and start our career all right if you're watching this you've probably seen me play uh, my other ones we're going to be jumping right in this time we're going to go to 2000 on our training budget and let's see i should be able to get a better five five josh fox that's not bad five five that's our starting point on the Caddy front. 5-5 five five is pretty balanced. I don't see anyone with a total of 11 right now. They all seem to be 10 or below. There's another 10. 10. Here's another 5-5. Five five. All right, so Josh Fox is our guy, and let's go ahead and get Gentry Golf. There we go. Very good golf balls and Tarisco Golf Clubs. Very good golf clubs. Familiarity will pick up over time, and that'll help us out. But in the meantime, we are ready to get started we head to the profile again here's where we're at our training at 2000 should net some decent results for us uh 82,000 cash will last a little while as well and we're gonna start with five days a week training for the next little bit There's our first couple copper stars already. First few copper stars. It'd be nice to get something better than that. First week, four copper stars. Not too bad. That'll help with the uh, power getting that up to 30 real quick. Five copper stars. Six copper stars. Seven copper stars. Uh, but at the cost of 2,000, this is not a good net result as I've already spent 30, 40,000 dollars. And there's finally a silver star. Haven't picked up a bronze yet. Picking up almost nothing but copper. There's a bronze finally. We need that. And there you go. We're down and out of cash. So our shopping spree of training. Lousy results. Uh, 15, 1, and 1. That's going to get the power halfway where we need it. And that's going to get consistency up 1. And our putting up 1. But 
now we're gonna have to switch over to the cheap training until our first tournament it's only December 1st <laughs> only December 1st it's not going to be easy to make a cut at this point, but with almost all 55s, I think we uh, stand a chance anyway. So 17 attribute points in all gained on that quick spree, uh, but definitely not the results I was looking for, especially at 2,000 a pop. I uh, feel like we should have gotten more out of it than that, but uh, now we move on to the cheapened training. And I don't mind switching over to four days so we can recover our fatigue before we start. With our cash flow low, we need to go ahead and trade that in. Uh, no gain there. Off to a pretty poor start. Oh, again, really? We are making literally zero progress here these last couple weeks. And we close out the year, we head into January. And we finally made a single thousand dollars. Again, still not out of the hole by any means. Uh, and I don't think we're ready for our first tournament until I get that power to 30. So we're gonna go ahead and let this Bahamas Open go. But glancing at the schedule, I'm going to need to shake things up as it is all Wolverine Golf Club and Florida Bay at this point. So we're going to go ahead and edit the schedule and we are going to randomize uh, events and courses. And wonder, let's try a random event again. There we go. That didn't seem to change anything. Well, Sun Golf Championship in Florida, but the Cajun Classic in New York? Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. All right, so like I said, I want to get this to 30 before we head to our first tournament. In that case, it's not tournament time. It's time to continue on with the training. So we're going to need 15 copper stars plus whatever it takes to stay ahead uh, in the funds. And if I earn at the rate I've earned here the last few, uh, we're not going to be in too good a shape on that. The last handful of weeks, I literally made only a thousand dollars, as our return rate was quite poor. That's better. I 
that gets us out of the hole a little bit, but we still need to make 15 additional plus whatever it takes to stay above where we're at. It's a little bit of a slow start here as training has not gone according to plan. And that seems to be the case nine times out of ten. And then all of a sudden you'll go on one hot streak. And the one time I had normal workout, that's exactly what had happened. That was that was the difference. Was I had a single streak where I landed silver, gold, platinum stars. when I was training and it kept things moving along. Alright, now I only need let's say six of these to stay afloat. That means we can now use four on the power. So we are inching closer, 19 now. now. Let's go ahead and train five days for a couple of weeks. Week of that. Now we'll go back to four days a week to make sure we keep the uh, stamina all the way up, especially when we are almost, almost ready for our first tournament. I need seven to keep that minimal and that gives us four more points. Still seven to go. We'll do a week of five and then we'll go right back to four. I want every advantage I can get heading into our first tournament. Uh, being fully fresh is going to be important to that. Uh, I don't want my first tournament to be Florida Bay. <laughs> I do not want my first tournament to be Florida Bay. So, uh, we'll go ahead and finish the job here. But we're going to wait till the next tournament. I had some bad luck with Florida Bay. All right, so we're there. We've made it. 
but not not this week. No event this week. No event this week. Alright, Farming Tale is another tough one, but we're going to head to the Oxford Classic. Uh, before we do that though, let's put away a little bit of money here. 7,000. Gets us back out of the red at least to 10,000, so here we go. We are fully fresh. We've got 10,000 in the bank, so we've got enough to get through some tournaments. And I think we're just about there. This is really close to that making a cut line. Now, Farmingdale is a tough course, so there are definitely going to be uh, golfers over par here. So it's light rain, 5 to 10 mile an hour winds, and Ellie Harrison and Carson Berry head out there with us. And we're going to be on the blue ball today. Ellie's in red and Carson on orange. And we miss horribly our first shot of our career here. Uh, amazingly, we are closer to the pin. But we already lose a stroke uh, to our first shot being in the trees. And we're going to have to sink this 9-footer to save par. No, it's already a bogey. Ooh, I can't count. That's a double bogey on the first hole. Yikes. Good for shot on this hole. Double bogey to open is a really bad way to start. We've got a decent chance at a birdie here. It's going to be about 18 feet. 15. Can we sink it? No. It's only par here. Managed to hit the green this time in one. Just missed the putt there for the birdie. This will be a par here on hole number three. Good first shot this time see that we've got more consistency if we didn't double bogey that first hole we'd actually be looking the best out of the three of us and that's not something I've been able to say uh, ever on this series no matter how many restarts we've had and that was a great putt was that an eagle did we just hit an eagle No, it's a birdie. Oh, I thought we had an eagle. Uh, but solid birdie there. That must have been a par four, not a par three. Uh, par five, I mean. Uh, a couple of these courses do have mislabeled holes. Uh, there are a handful of mislabeled holes on all the courses. That was a great shot. We nearly went straight in. Uh, and from six feet out here... I think we sunk that one too. 
Uh, okay, we did, but it wasn't a birdie. That was a par. But we are back to plus one. Of the three, we've actually got the best round so far. And that's after opening with a double bogey. Good second shot. We're, we're lying pretty here. Uh, but nowhere near as good as Carson's second shot. Carson, great one there. Here we go. 15 feet out for the birdie. Can't make it, but it'll be a tap in for par. Oof. Well short on that shot there. Oh, what was that? Oh, no. Oh. Okay, uh, things are getting ugly in a hurry here. Uh, massive AI error because no one in their right mind is going to shoot straight into the w trees. In the first place, and then we just missed the short putt, putt there. 12 foot, I mean, it's not that short of a putt, but... Putting's my greatest strength. That was a seven. So we just double bogeyed the hole, and we dropped to plus three. So for the second time, we have double bogeyed in just seven holes. Uh, I can't stand to watch uh, this ugly, ugly mess as we bogey the eighth as well. So we get a plus five. Oh, that's not, that's Ellie. Where's mine? There we go. Okay, I was looking at Ellie Harrison's score. Uh, two double bogeys on the front nine and one birdie. Uh, there was a lot of potential there that just got absolutely ruined by a very poor, poor uh showing on the uh, first and seventh holes uh three bogeys on the back nine and twice that in pars so at least we were a little more consistent uh, but we do finish the round at plus six uh, that's probably out of the cut range but that's actually not a terrible score uh, for farmingdale as you can see just how low the bottom end is uh, plus six is one stroke or two strokes off the cut line. So we're going to need a shot or two better here uh, than our 77. So 75, I think, might just do it here. 84 definitely does not do it. So back to training. Oh, Pacific Ocean. That's actually what I'd like to play. It's one course that I tend to do well at. Yeah, statistically. That first tournament went horribly, and I, I'm better than that. <laughs> really? Well, that's all we got was four. <laughs> Not good results here. Uh, no event this week, so we'll have to continue on. But I definitely want to try some tournaments because I think we can make some cuts. Uh, one thing I have noticed uh, here, even after uh, the first update, you don't develop when you play golf. You only develop when you train. And even then, it's 
just earning stars and you apply them how you want. I'm not sure why through practice there is virtually no improvement. Farming Dale again. Uh, well, let's see if we're any, any better now. I'm not going to go watch this ugly mess though, but I'll see our score. 80 is not good. 80 will not do it. So plus nine. And an 81 is a plus 10. So we got plus 19 for the tournament. That's probably dead last. And we have the worst average. We're averaging two putts per hole, even though I have a 56 on that. All right, we're going to have to sim a little bit more. Uh, looks like we do have to grow some attribute points, but with that yearly degrade, if you don't make cuts in your first year, I don't see how you can be successful, how you can make it. I know on very easy, you could make cuts immediately, or even on easy, you should be able to make cuts immediately. Um, but even on normal, it's like, unless you get lucky on the training in that first set that first step that first piece it's like this is a game where you're clearly set up for failure and not success I mean, so far in four rounds played, my driving accuracy is dead last. My scoring average is dead last. My putting average is ahead of just one person, and my greens and reg is only ahead of three. And I still haven't gotten anywhere financially. Uh, Wolverine Golf Club... Let's see what we get. A 72 in the first round. It's not too shabby. There we are. 72. It's tied for 83rd. Uh, that's one stroke out of it right now. One stroke. A 74. That's going to miss it by three to four strokes. So close to a cut. Okay, Pacific Ocean Lynx, the Aviatric Open. Uh, we're definitely going to head to this one. Scores are a little bit lower here. So we're going to need uh, like a 70 or below. And a 73 is probably going to be too high. Sure enough, we're tied for 87th. So there we are again. I'm one stroke off the cut line. A 73 
is the same. Just missing that cut again. That was a lot closer this time. I only missed it by three strokes. So we came close to our first cut, just three over. It's better. I'm out of last place in the scoring average by one. Putting average is dead last, though. Still hovering around two, even though that's my best attribute by one point. But greens and reg went up. Driving accuracy over 50% now, so at least that's better. It's still not much in cash, so uh, we'll kind of continue the pattern of training as much as we can and entering tournaments, trying to see if we can't actually make a cut for a change. Seventy-seven, bad, bad first round. That's at least five over, if not six over. Oh, 87. That's the kind of score I hit in real life. And that's, you know, going, playing once a year, twice a year. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, back to that. Rest there. So we got blown away in that one. We're already back down to nearly last place in scoring average. No event this week. Okay. We'll be at the Pines this time. We are going to participate in that tournament. Uh, let's go ahead and cash. Oh, a whole 6,000. Cash that in. There you go. We're at least up to 20, I guess. It's something. It's something. All right. So we go to the Pines for the first time uh, with a 79. So I've come close once. I've been okay once and the rest have been bad 78 so a 79 and a 78 and i don't see why with a 56 my putting average is that bad did they change it because when i used to go through a 56 was enough for about a 1.6 putting average. I mean, we're, we're, we're talking about a stroke every three holes difference. That's a lot. I mean, that's, that's six strokes around difference. That would have me at a 71.92. Let me go ahead and rest both of those days as we are a little bit fatigued. Not bad. Yeah, I, I used to get 1.6, 1.7-ish at this level of putting. So I, I think they changed that with the update. And sadly, made it harder when it was already too hard.
There's a 70. That's a pretty dang good round. Can this be it? I am tied for 10th uh, on even. Tied for 10th place. We are going to watch this next round because right now there is a solid cut line at plus 30. And plus 4 is almost enough. And yet I'm even. I'm three strokes. Almost four strokes ahead of the cut right now. So we're heading to the links. It's sunny. There's no wind. AI control, of course. Uh, an all-male grouping with Patrick Barker and Isaac Atkinson. I'm in red. And I enter this round uh, well ahead of the others in the standings. And we hit the bunker on our first shot. Uh, second shot at least got us out, but uh, we just missed the green. And then instead of putting on the nice flat even green, we chip well wide of the cup and already drop a stroke on the first hole through a totally illogical AI kind of choice. Uh, that's one thing that still drives me nuts about this game is that when you are on the fringe, putting should absolutely be an option because anyone in their right mind on a flat green is going to putt in that situation. Shot number four, 18 feet out. Did that go in? Did it? Did it? No, it didn't. And we already have two bogeys in two holes. I'm a curse to myself when I watch. I, I wonder if it simulates different when you're watching than when you just simulate the round. Because every time I watch, we're awful. <laughs> just make horrendous decisions. We missed three foot putts. We <laughs> we we get eights and nines on holes. Nice shot there. Oh, great shot! This has got to be a birdie. Got to be a birdie. Here it is. Nine feet. Get in the hole. Oh, we got one back. I gotta stop my whining. My whining's just, you know, it's a mental game. All right, after five years, perfect example, Tiger Woods. He got rid of his coaches. He got out of his head. And just started playing and it got better and better and better through the year. And then won the Tour Championship, which was just awesome. Uh, that crowd was insane behind him. Uh, as he headed down the fairway on the 18th. Uh, and when he stepped up to that bunker, and just everybody's screaming. And the, you know they're trying to quiet the crowd down. And then the... the the noise was coming down, but it was taking longer than normal because, I mean, that was, uh, that was the largest crowd that I have ever seen at a, at a golf event at any given hole. And, you know, a crowd of that size that was as pumped up as they were, knowing that he had a couple stroke lead and had quite a few shots to play with to finish it off to get his first win in so many years. Uh, and that up until a minute before that was on the verge of not only winning the tournament, but the FedEx Cup. He walked into that bunker and just stepped up 
and took a couple little half swings and hit the ball. The the crowd wasn't quite silent yet. He he didn't take a bunch of looks at it. He literally just stepped up to the ball and within about two seconds swung the club and just dropped it, you know, five feet away from from the pin. I mean, it was just a beautiful shot for what it was. It was the kind of thing where he just got out of his head. He got out of the situation, which was crazy, and laid down a nice shot, finished the round off, won the tournament. It was beautiful. Uh, it was so nice to see. After everything that he's been through, uh, so many people have you know said he, he got what he deserved, and yeah, he screwed up. I think he got way worse than what he deserved, though. Uh, people make mistakes. And the man was seen as a hero, as the biggest hero on the planet, at least when it came to sporting events. And then he finally shows a chink in his armor, and the world just tore him a new one. Really? That was that? Was that? I, I know I was at the tree line, but it seemed like we could have still played the ball, you know, 80 yards down to the fairway and instead we end up having to chip back out onto the fairway and that cost me a stroke here so we're already i think lying four so we're gonna be yeah four par here it'll be a tap in for a bogey but that's gonna put us at plus two here on the tenth so we are on the back nine now i think this is a good chance to check in uh on that leaderboard and see how we're looking quite a few people have already finished this second round we're still up in 18th, so that looking good. Uh, let's see, the cut right now looks like plus five is going to be the cut. So plus five. I've got three strokes to play with, eight holes to finish up. And we just dropped another stroke as we go to plus three. So we've got two whole, uh, two shots to play with here as we are on the 12th. This is not looking so good as we are plus three on the day at the moment. And we're lying right of the green in the bunker. Decent shot coming out, but we're going to have quite some distance to cover on our next shot here. And this is four par. And we drop another. So this is going to be back to back to back bogeys. And now we are only one shot above the cut line, just like that, here on 13. Come on. Oh, it's just horrendous how bad we are playing right now with the pressure on. Decent second shot. We'll make par on this hole. But I'm not sinking any putts. Like, any from any kind of range whatsoever. This is a two foot tap in. Save par. We finally broke the streak of triple bogeys. Well, not triple bogeys, but back to back to back bogeys. Bad first shot, good second shot though. Uh, but we're definitely not in any contention for a birdie here. And even now a par is going to be a questionable uh, 15 feet out. I should be sinking the occasional 15 foot putt, yet I've gotten nothing. And we're now going to be at the cut line, plus five, here on the 15th hole. Four holes to play, and we have bogeyed four of the last five holes to drop to 57th. But it looks like the cut line has maybe moved one stroke back to plus six. Can we make it through this thing? Oh, we got a birdie! We got a birdie! Two strokes to the good with three holes to play. We've got a chance. Oh, ugly second shot way left in the bunker, but at least it did not hit that tree line. Here we go. Third shot. 
is a bit over the hole, but it is on the green. We are going to bogey again, though. It's 21 feet. Yeah, that didn't go in. So we're right back to plus five, but we have one stroke to play with and two holes to go. Par three, 17th. Here we go. From the tee, way, way right. Decent second shot. Decent second shot. This should, should be a makeable par, but it's 15 feet. It's not in. It's a bogey. So the 18th, we are going to have to par the 18th hole to make this cut. And even then, that plus six was so close. So iffy. So... Uh, pressure's on. 18th hole, and we hit a terrible first shot. And a bad second shot. It's going to be a really, really difficult par here on the 18th. Oh... It's a good shot. It's a good shot. We have a chance. Oh, it's 12 feet, though. I'm not making anything from range. Come on. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. So we hit a plus 7 today. A plus 7. 77. And I think we missed the cut. So... Look at that back nine. Ugly. Ugly. Ugly mess. A 41 on the back nine. Plus six on the back nine. Even with a birdie in there. We only parred a single hole on the back nine. And we missed the cut. By one flipping stroke. The cut was plus six. Oh, look at that, too. 72 golfers. So even then, it almost went to plus seven. We had all day to make that cut. We were even. I mean, look at that. Even is fifth by the time we actually got to the end of round two. And I was plus one entering the back nine. Nine holes to play. And we missed that cut. I feel like a sandwich. Not like eating one. I feel like I am one i'm dry bread just crumbling right now uh, that is heart-wrenching gut-wrenching just ah <sighs> 74 in the first round here at farmingdale is that where I just was? Farmingdale? 74 is not a bad round. Right on the cut right now. There it is! There it is! Uh, a 75... We just make the cut for the first time. We've got to be right on that cut line, and we are. So we make it by exactly one stroke, and oh, look at that, 72. That's got to be the line, because last time there were 72 in. So 72 make a cut. I finally have confirmation of what, of how many it is here in this game. So top 72 get in because last time 73rd which was what i was tied for did not make the cut this time 72 do Whew. all right um but we're definitely at the bottom so uh it's not like we're in for a big payday here in fact in 80 
it's going to drop us to right about last place. And there we are, scoring average right back down to next to last. Putting average is still dead last. Nothing to watch here. I'm out of time for this episode, but let's see where we finished up. 77, finishing the money. And with that plus 22, really? You didn't even... You just leave the screen. Thanks. Uh, we earned $200, but I actually had to pay my uh, my caddy as well. So what does he make? Uh, we made a cut. He gets 2%. So 2% is not much. Not much at all. Uh, what, 20, 24 bucks? So I made about a hundred and seventy six dollars. Hundred and seventy six dollars in that tournament. Not a big payday for me. Because it cost me a thousand to get in and I had to pay Mr. Fox his cut. So But we made it. We made a cut. But the sad thing is I still didn't gain anything from that. Uh that's uh, that's where this game runs into problems is you're not even breaking even when you do make a cut if you finish last in that cut group so if you're right at the bottom there's there's no actual money so you've got to actually start getting up there a little ways but we made a cut so uh there is hope <laughs> there is hope in this world uh mostly it's females named hope uh but I have the other type of hope uh, that will make it work. We'll get through. It is possible to make a cut. It is possible to stay alive. So there's a chance. <laughs> All right. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe. And tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.